Israel, you wanted a quick turn around. You got your wish, and yeah. you got your opponent that you wanted. Yeah, three for three now. So that was uh, Rob Wilkinson, uh, Marvin, and now Brad. Um, going back to the Marvin fight in the cage, you said that you were a wee bit disappointed with your performance. Do you still think the same way? No, hindsight. You know, I knew later on, even while I was saying I was disappointed, I knew later on when I watch it, because it always happens. I'm never really satisfied with what I do, but in hindsight, everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. I, you know, I performed very well, beat him all three rounds, even the third round. I might have given it to him for two takedowns. I didn't really do anything. Um, but yeah, I felt I was glad to, to be able to go all three rounds and know that I'm, I had two more rounds in me so I could go five rounds. And yeah, this next round is, this next fight's five rounds, but I don't think we'll need five rounds. And do you think this, this opponent, you'd have more footage to study, more things like that. Do you think this is going to be less of a surprise? Because I heard 100%. that you say that Marvin was a bit of a surprise of yeah. how tough he was. Yeah, it was very surprising. Not just on how tough he was, but the, what he was throwing from southpaw. He was throwing like a four by two from southpaw. So that's a left leg, and a left hand right afterwards. And no one ever threw that to me at sparring from southpaw anyway. And um, I was able to read it on the fly. And he, I think he threw it three times. And then by the second and third time, I was able to counter him as well, so I was not um, I was impressed with my way to read him and adjust on the fly. But this guy, Brad, I've seen his style many times, and I've got, I've got guys from this gym who would beat him, who would smoke him. So, yeah, I've seen, I, I'm not saying he's gonna be um, someone to look over, but definitely I've read that book many times, that, 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 that kind of style, so my body already knows, my mind already knows what to look for. One of the things I was gonna ask you, because I always appreciate you talking to me, mate, you, um, you must be inundated with requests for interviews and things like that. Is that still yeah. a novelty for you, or does it start to get a little bit, oh, I wish I didn't hear, I've got other things to do? I always say, like, you know, you can't complain about having a lot of your plate when you've been trying to eat, so now I'm eating good. And this is just part of the gig, you know. If you want to be a household name, a superstar, a guy that, that's mainstream, you know, that crosses over the pop culture, you know, because MMA is, it, the UFC is kind of mainstream now, but there's only a certain few fighters like McGregor, Rousey, uh, John Jones a little bit that cross over the pop culture and, you know, that kind of stuff. So if you want to do all that kind of stuff, you got to get used to this and having cameras in your face. So that's nothing. And with you, I've been doing interviews since I was uh, 21, 20 with you. So that's nothing. This is giving back part of the game. You've been given a lot of um, kudos because you were mentioned in the same breath as uh, Anderson Silva and Conor McGregor is getting a uh, main fight so early in your career. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think Conor did it in three fights as well, and Anderson did it on the second fight. So um, for me, I, I keep saying it's just everyone else outside of New Zealand is kind of late to the party, you know, because um, I've known this about myself, you know, my gym's known this about me. So now the world gets to see. Now you, you could have taken easier opponents. You've chosen to go up into the top 10 early in your career. Just to make highlight reels out of these guys. You know, my last fight, I didn't get the finish I wanted, so that's why I was disappointed. But if you, if you pick so many bits from that fight, that there's a lot of highlights in that fight. Um, but yeah, this guy as well, I just feel it's five rounds, but I just don't see it going five rounds. I really don't. I give it less than three rounds for this fight. I asked you last time about the fizzy threat meter. Have you got, have you got a threat. prediction? This last time the guy was a threat of, uh, I think, a three or four. This guy. Mm. About a four. Yeah, I think about a four. Someone that. I, well, yeah, I'm trying to even think who's going to be like a nine. Someone that's threatening. They have to have some wrestling. But every fight, I keep getting better. Every fight. So if they want to beat me, they got to beat me yesterday. Because every day, you just saw. We're putting in work, heavy work. So, yeah, every time I think the threat meter just, they all just become irrelevant anyway. Hey, mate, thanks for talking to you. Can't I wait think. to talk to you when you get back. Lightwork, brother. <laughs> sweat. Thank you. Hey, cheers, man. Easy as, bro. Dan, come do your thing. Come get ready for your close up. White, white. I'm a professional. I get it done quick. I don't fuck one, around. One take. One take, Jake. They call me one take, Jake. Don't worry about it. Why are you crying for? It's my turn now. I'm pretty sure I gave you time to dress up. I gave you time to dress up. Yes. Hey, K47. I saw him first. Let me see you do this. I saw him first. Why are you crying? I say private school. Cheers, mate.